Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba. Whoops. Fuck. Didn't mean, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Oh god, Steam's interface is fucking AIDS. Whose idea was it? It's terrible. Hang on a minute. 26th. It is the 26th. I'm not going mad, am I? Hang on. July 26th. Vet's appointment today. Okay. Vet's appointment today. Okay. God, what is happening to 2018? It was January, like yesterday. I don't understand. How is this possible? How is it already almost the end of July? God. Right. Ooh, who did that? Thank you, Muffin. Thank you kindly, Muffin. I guess that means I'm live. Um, thank you kindly, uh, this, this very generous Muffin. Um, right, sorry, and that's a notepad. Uh, let me, um, sorry, bear in mind, I, uh, sorry, bear with me. I'm just going to go and uh, pop the coffee machine on just to get it warmed up. I don't know if I'm gonna make a coffee, but I'm just gonna get the coffee machine on. Anyway, back in just a moment. Okay, good morning everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a lovely week wherever you are. If, if you're uh, in the United Kingdom, I hope you're weathering the scorching uh, weather. It's, um, it's pretty bad actually. This is, this is really quite bad. This is much, much worse than... Sorry, I seem to recall last year we had very little sunshine. I, think, I seem to recall like people were joking last year that we had like a week of sunshine and that was it. Summer's over. If I recall correctly, it was like a very brief spell of, of hot weather, but now we've got this heat wave and it's really just all the plants outside are dead or dying and it's just really bad. Um, but yes, uh, so hopefully maybe we get some uh, a bit a bit of a, a, a shower tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, according to the weather report, we've got some incoming rain from the Atlantic. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a bit of a dousing. Um, how hot is it? I'm not sure what the actual temperature is right now, uh, Mr. Koala, but it, it is very, very warm, very dry, uh, with very little wind, so it's just very it's sticky. It's very, you know, like that kind of, that muggy, sticky heat that you can't escape? Um, so everybody's got fans on. Are you okay, honey? Lulu's suffering, she really is. Are you alright, honey bunny? I'm sorry, I know you're hot. Yes, I'm sorry. She's on the floor right now. She's, uh, she's lying on the bathroom floor quite a lot because it's nice and cool in there. Um, right, cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so as for right now, uh, I'm going to do a spot of RimWorld. Uh, so this week, to, just to give you all an update for those who are curious uh, on the YouTube side of things. Um, so I've just finished that, um, <clears throat> that uh, hold fast video. Uh, that wasn't a bullshittery. That was just a quick thing uh, that I made last week. Um, so uh, I've just... I've, well, the week before last, I was just going through and um, chopping up the whole fast footage to store it on my hard drives and uh, find out how much bullshittery footage there is. The answer to that question is two bullshitteries worth. So two, two ten-minute bullshitteries are ready to go insofar as editing is concerned. Um, I'm going to put that to one side for the moment. And, and, and sorry, those, those quick four minutes were just some extra clips that I just thought would be funny. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I put that to one side. Um, this week, I'm now starting... Uh, thank you, Linmic. Um, I'm now starting the next project. Um, yesterday, I was, I was just... Fidd again, it's just, it's just fiddling for the minute. I, I'm, um, I'm just kind of figuring out what's on my hard drive, what is here, and then starting to put them together. So, um, yesterday, I did that with a different game. Uh, I just wanted to go, is there enough footage here for this game to be a bullshittery? Uh, at, the end of, at the end of that day, the answer was yes. So, that one goes to one side. If you're a patron or a Twitch sub, I'll send you an email later today to tell you what that was. But yes, I went through my hard drives, went, yep, there's enough there for a bullshittery. Put that to one side. Today, I'm going to do the same for 
PUBG. So, of course, so I've got one, two, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got about eight post-it notes in front of me of funny moments for PUBG, which are on uh, stream. So I've got like the streams, the full stream saved, but they're not cut. So I need to go cut those together and then have a look at PUBG and go, is there enough for, for a bullshittery? So um, I need to come up with, I don't know what the name for this process is. Forgive me, I'm, I'm a bit of an amateur when it comes to editing. I have no, no professional... Um, uh, qualification, so I don't know what it's called. Uh, scrubbing is what you call it if it were audio, like music. Like if you're scrubbing music, you're going, you're going through the track and listening to it again and again. But I don't know what the equivalent term is for, um, well, like uh, going through archives of footage. I don't know. Maybe someone can can enlighten me. Um, yeah, cool. Um, yeah. Thank you, Darth Vader. Thank you, Darth Vader. Thank you kindly. Um, right. So as for right now, um, a bit of um, shrubberying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gonna call it strawberry chops. Yes, indeed. Um, as for right now, I'm just gonna play some RimWorld and um, yeah, and then uh, just get on with that editing uh, later this afternoon. So, for those not familiar with, with RimWorld, uh, this is basically an adventure game. Uh, this is a dwarf fortress uh, with a nicer interface, uh, and its uh, its focus is not necessarily, in my opinion, on survival. At least not in the typical sense when you say a survival game like managing bars and having encounters. Uh, no, this one is more about um, having a group of people uh, a group of pawns, as they're called um, who have landed crash landed on this planet after a cryo ship accident. Uh, they're represented here and uh, you get to know them, you get familiar with them, you get attached to them and then you have to make difficult decisions related to their survival. Uh, so currently it's the last day of winter um, so the last day of winter on the uh, on Tundra Fall, which is uh, so we're at the very very top of the Rim World, uh, all the way up here. So that's our home on the Choga Sheet at the top of the continent. Um, so we are yeah. So we've managed to successfully weather this winter. It is minus 33 degrees outside, which is positively toasty compared to what it was at night. It was minus 60. Um, well, it's soon to it's soon to be night. Um, yeah, it's soon to be night in a minute. It's uh, it's five in the evening. Um, so yes, the colony continues. Uh, we've got about fifteen guys and girls who are tr tr trying to stick together and um, and stay alive as best we can in these fro in this frozen fucking wasteland that is um, Tundra Fall. Um, so we've managed to get most of the base sealed, which is nice. We're trying to get some uh, additional power options. Um, going because we we keep running low on power and we really do need to get the secondary hydroponics bay online not just for food surplus food but also for drugs if we can grow drugs and sell them we'll have silver that we can use to buy whatever else we might need medical supplies nanotech uh, whatever we can get off any passing trader or um or you know trade caravan we won't get many trade caravans all the way up here you could call it colony survival or colony management. Yes, you could, but... Oh god, Ryoma has fallen over. What's wrong? Psychite addiction? Why has she fallen over? Exhaustion? No. Withdrawal from Psychite. We don't have any Psychite left. Have we gone through all the Psychite? We've got loads. We just need someone to make her some drugs. Someone needs to go rescue Ryoma. So, Prying Panda. Could you go and rescue Ryoma? Prying Panda is the, uh, the drifter. A 40-year-old male drifter. Who uh, is a bit of a home wrecker? He, he he keeps trying to flirt with Jen, Jen the tribal, whose husband is injured and in cryo. Um, you want cyanide, Fusco Bolt? You're in, a, you're not in his stream. Go find him in his stream. <clears throat> well, actually, he'd probably right now he'd be at uni, wouldn't he? He'd probably be back later, later this afternoon. Right. Oh God, that. Sorry, that's, who? I need to deal deal with that. It's so annoying. So Steam has done something. Either either I've done something or Steam's done something. But the new interface is a fucking joke. And it keeps like playing these really obnoxious sounds whenever anybody does anything. Sorry, how do I fix that? Oh god. Uh Anybody know where that where, uh, I'm in the settings now. Interface. Uh turn them off. Yeah, there's a chat update, and it looks fucking horrible. Like, it's, it's if somebody ejaculated all over the Steam window. They're just crap. Just loads of crap. Like, group chats, here's a load of text. Like, here's lots of text. Here's lots of floating, glowing icons with with a, a chat, which is not uh, fully opaque. It's just really not well designed. Uh, hang on, settings. Oh, God, and then they've picked a different UI for their settings screen? 
No, Valve, you've, you've done goofed. You really have. Here we go. What's this? Vo no, this is voice. Uh, notifications. Here we go. No, don't play sounds for Christ's sake. Okay. There we go. Oh man, and, and so you've made your settings window for the chat inconsistent with the settings window for your for the Steam browser? Oh man, no. Somebody's somebody's made some bad high level decisions here. Okay. <laughs> yep, I know some UI UX designers who would have words. Okay, right, so Prying Panda is retrieving uh Ryoma, the mathematician. Um so We've managed to get most of our defensive turrets operational, which is nice. They're offline at the minute, just because I switched them off. But, um, yeah, we, we've, we've gone and re restored most of our, our gun turrets, which is important because we don't have many capable fighters after the loss of, um, of Porter, of Neville, and of uh, Poppycock. With their deaths, we've lost three capable soldiers and their equipment. So, you know. Okay, Bitteriter is exhausted, are you? Uh, no, she's fine. Okay. Does age or gender make a difference for the pawns? Yes, it does. Uh, age will determine how you know they can they can, uh, they can become frail and develop various health conditions. Um, as for their gender, I don't think. Sorry, specifically, I don't think gender has any difference. It makes any difference. <clears throat> no, but certainly age. Okay, so Mio, our miner, is having a beer. Uh, food, yeah, so food-wise, we're not doing so well. We, we, we switched over to, um, what is it, to um, potato nutrient paste. We're getting some rice coming through the hydroponics bay. Uh, the dogs also might need some food because we don't have any corpses they can eat outside. We'll have to watch that. We might have to make some kibble out of potatoes. Thank you, Carter. Thank you very much, Carter. Okay. The dev said it doesn't back when there was a shitstorm in the game about sexual identity. What was the shitstorm, Boydka? Wait, sexual identity? Why would that have any bearing on the game? Why would that matter? Sorry, <laughs> people are dying trying to survive. <laughs> that doesn't matter right about now. Thank you, Requiem. Thank you. And Carter. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Hmm, okay, right, so people are winding down and going to bed. Can you have cannibal con colonists? Yes, you can. We had one of our doctors called Maximo who uh, was quite partial to long pig uh, and um, Yes, he did uh, eat quite a few other colonists. Oh It was a joke. Sorry, Boydka. Right. Uh, no, I'm gonna ref. I see. It's cool. All right, then. Um, so the colony winds down and goes to bed uh, so we do have a couple of night owls. We've got Easy Life and Fellfire. Easy Life is the optimistic 29-year-old uh, woman who everyone likes, who handles much of the cleaning. And Fellfire is a 29-year-old military commissar uh, with an M16 um, who, I believe, handles construction at night? What do you do? Yes. So Fellfire is off to, yes, and build some concrete flooring. It's quite chilly at night. It's minus 44 degrees. Um, but thankfully, we've got a nice internal area that people can move through now. I really should get some additional heaters. We should, we should definitely heat up the corridors that link up the two zones. Okay, spring has begun. So it's spring on the eighth year. Right. So it's currently hard snow, chilly, minus 43. Okay. Um, um, M Mia Novastar, if you click on the ZF Clan link below the stream, you will find all ZF Clan members who stream, including Cyanide. Oh, sorry, you meant that the outrage was so ridiculous it was a joke. Sorry, what? I'm I'm sorry, you've piqued my curiosity. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. What outrage? What, what what did they do? Did they make, like, some sort of stat bonus? Uh, RimWorld's code defines strict gender role. Oh, God. It doesn't fucking matter. Hang on. Their little 2D porn represent. Who cares if you're bi curious if you're getting eaten by a fucking polar bear? 
It doesn't matter! Oh, Jesus. Some people. This game's about hard decisions dying of fucking malaria at the age of 17. It doesn't matter what your personal sexual preference is. You're not going to live long enough to have sex anyway. Thank you, uh, Temptin. Thank you very much. Fuck! Okay. Green is pro- oh good, our llamas are- wait, I, mm, we've got quite a few llamas now. Do we need as many llamas? Should we kill some? We probably need their meat more than their- their- well, more than their wool. How many alpaca? We've got, um- oh god, are we eating raw rice? Oh no, don't eat raw rice. Why are we eating raw rice? Oh uh, yeah, now you've got food poisoning, little Miss Hixie. Why are you awake anyway? See, it's two in the morning. Get to bed. You're knackered. Sorry, what did I say? Did I say llama again? Sorry, I keep doing that. Um. Yeah, we, we don't need we don't need more than four alpaca, do we? Um. Thank you, Kamikaze Quake. Thank you very much. So we have two male alpaca. Male. How old is S'mores? He's three. How long do they live? Life expectancy. 15. Okay, it's very, very young. Um, so, we might as well just kill the youngsters. Um, wait until they grow up a bit and then we'll have more meat. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I, ad I identify as an Apache attack helicopter. Does that matter right now? As the bullets are flying and the Sight the robots are gutting people. <laughs> Priorities. <clears throat> oh shit. We didn't get the power switch online because we don't have components. Have we gone through? Oh, we've got a single component. Ah, okay. Um, thank you, sleeping and the bad ramen. Thank you very much. Why kill the youngsters, not the older ones? Well, the older ones are female. So we have two, uh, three females and one male. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Okay, Fellfire is just north of the uh, north of the base. Now we do need to stay alert because in occasionally you do get polar bears wandering, and of course there's no other food apart from our dogs or our people. So you need to stay alert for any potential. Uh, movement. Uh, a beautiful aurora is lighting up the sky. Its undulating colours will boost the mood of anybody outside to see them and make the night brighter. Here or over here? No, it's over here. Damn. It's over at uh, Morningwood. It's not at uh, it's not at um, Tundra Fall. Thank you, Adam. Thank you kindly, Adam. Can you have babies in Rimworld? God, no. And glad for it, to be honest. The baby would be born into a world where Mo okay, basically, have a look at if you if you want to know just how brutal this world is. There's a Google Doc just below the uh, the stream. Open it up and have a look at the fate of the people who are at the bottom of the Google Doc. People are fucking dying, like really fucking dying. Most of these people probably won't survive the next like year eight. We'll see. They might. They might not. A big attack is all it's going to take to see these people torn apart. You know, shot. Abducted into slavery. This is not the right environment for a kid. You can with mods. Oh, God. Okay, so it's six in the morning. People are waking up. Some delicious nutrient paste awaits you. Mmm, yummy. Like a warm bowl of snot. Okay, Tiro starts the day. Uh, the dogs do not really have anything to eat, do they? Hmm. Oh wait, can they access the potatoes here? Oh, we've got quite a few potatoes. Why are they going in there? Sorry. This should be a low priority storeroom. Oh, because the dogs can't. Oh shit. Okay. Wait a second. Areas. Delete zones. Yes. Dog haulers. Don't let them into the secondary storage room. They'll just munch all of our potatoes. So they're helping by bringing the potatoes in, sure. But they'll eat them. 
Okay, we do have yeah, we do have quite a bit of food. Um, let's also just uh, uh, break down on the comms console. Vegetarian. Yeah, get rid of rice and potato. This was like supposed to be a, a, a runoff, as in if the main freezer is full. Th thank you, Simply Soulless. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, Tiro is uh, sowing more crops there. Um, with Tiro's presence handling the hydroponics, I'm going to reassign Ryoma to working on uh, on works of art. Because she's, she's quite... Is she still down for the count? Psychite withdrawal. Consciousness very poor. Fuck. Thank you, Hetero. Thank you kindly. And Fire and Flame. Thank you kindly. Um, can we have somebody make some of her psychoid tea? Make medicine. Where do we make the psychoid tea? The drugs lab. Which is... It is here. Right? Go juice, medicine. Wait, is it the crafting spot? Yeah. I suspended it. I see. My bad. Um... Vassal, can you quickly uh, brew up some tea? Yeah, go get some... Uh, so make some psychoid uh, peco, is that how you say it? It's the tea that um, Ryoma needs to drink. And then just add... Um, so well, when we've got some tea, we'll, we'll make some. Thank you, Fenrir. Yes, I, I need to get to that spreadsheet and do some more updating because some more events have happened. Why not use the times two to time three speed? Well, I'm just talking about what's going on and... Don't necessarily need to make it go too quickly. Um, right, so just making sure people are busy. Jen is handling the hydroponics. So Ryoma, when you regain consciousness, no longer handle the hydroponics. Please work on art, which we can either sell to traders or plant around the colony or put around the colony. So Jen is doing hydroponics. Yellow is hauling or making explosive shells. I'm sorry, why are you doing that, sir? Your skill is quite low, is it not? No, no, not too bad. Fair enough. You can make high explosive shells yellow. That's okay. Mio the miner. Mio the miner is mining. Good girl. Major brain damage. The scared student is cleaning. Vassal is doing what I told him to, getting some uh, frozen um, uh, psychoid leaves from over here in order to turn them into tea. Lovely. Uh, Dragon is in cryo. Little Miss Hixie is making components. Good. Bitterit is off building an IED incendiary trap over here, which is. Fine, but is there something more important you could do, Bitter Ritter? Oh, no, we don't have the slates to build the wall. Um, oh. Prying Panda's still awake and is working on the, um, the turbines. Okay, no, good. Everybody is busy, it seems. What's Crimson doing? Burning clothing that we don't need. Good, good call. Yes, yeah, so we have some shoddy clothes that we don't really need. The base is quite compact. Um, well, indeed, a hopeless butter. Through necessity. Um... We are huddled around geothermal vents and we're trying to remain, you know, the, the, the core areas of the base are inside, right in the heart of the base, where it's quite toasty. Um, whereas the outer areas, it can get fucking cold. Um, in, the air, in some areas where, it's, uh, where I need to keep it warm, there are double walls. For example, around most of the base, there is either double or triple walls for the sake of both defense and insulation. So yes, even th this storeroom here is minus eight degrees. It's still quite chilly. Thank you, Team Gates. Thank you very much. Glad you like it. Isn't it better to sell the clothes than to burn them? Yes, indeed, Danny. But we're talking two two silver pieces for like a tattered, a tattered pair of trousers. It's not. It's not amazing. Okay, are the boomerlopes fucking? There's the male. Good. Pregnant middle stages. I would like to breed as many boomerlopes as we can so we can milk them for chem fuel, which we can use to get our transport pods loaded in the event that we need to go places. Okay, uh, do we have any psychoid tea? We do. Please administer some. Who is the doctor currently? Easy Life or Tiro can handle doctoring duties. Tiro, could you kindly... Uh, don't strip, Ryoma. Oh, do we not have any available? Where's Vassal? Uh, stand down, dude. Uh, break down on a trade beacon as well. We're going to need components in order to uh, repair those. Um, need materials. We don't have any psychoid pico? I just told him to make some. Hmm. Can't you dismantle clothes? Uh, I don't think so. Tailoring bench. No. 
Thank you, uh, Conga Hoovy. Thank you, Conga Hoovy. You can smelt weapons. Hmm. Don't know why there's three jobs there. Thank you, Conga, for the compliments and the sub. That's very generous. Thank you. Right. So, yes, things are ticking over steadily. Uh, can we bring some of those drugs over to the actual lab? What do we store here in the stockpile zone? Uh, raw resources, plant matter, psychoid leaves. Store some psychoid leaves, not many. For this reason, uh, delete most of the zone. Just have, just have a few leaves. Don't go cra crazy. How did you get so much slate while on the tundra? There were some chunks of slate sitting around that we've gone and sort of chewed through, but we are running quite low now. We've got limestone left. Quite a lot of limestone. Maybe we need to switch over to just using limestone. I need to get, yeah, we get rid of this wall here as well. This could be useful to us. Oops. Yeah. Um, who's doing the building? Bitterritter is deconstructing IEDs. Um, come over here, Bitterritter, and get rid of uh, this wall. Just got to manually. Yeah, this will give us some building materials. Da, 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 da. There we go. Do I prefer hotter or colder climates? What, personally or in the game, Lenmi? Uh, personally, colder climates. In the game, colder climates. Thank you, Dinklebean. Also, yes, hi there, Dinklebean. Uh, everybody, that's uh, that's the posh-sounding officer gentleman from uh, Holdfast. The guy who was saying, uh, why are there so many gentlemen from the colonies? And also, who's vaping? But yes, he'll have a, uh, a much, much larger role, I feel, in the future uh, Holdfast Bullshittery Part 1. Um, right. Every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. For a few days, some people's moods will be, will be quite a lot worse. Right. So, male... Uh, yeah, men are going to be grumpy. I need to watch out for angry men. Uh-huh. Herd migration. Please tell me it's here. Yeah. No, oh, fuck. God damn it. So that could have been a, a, a great source of meat if that were here at Tundra Fall. But it's not. It's over at Morningwood. Why do I prefer colder climates in the game? Eh, they're more challenging, Danny. Deserts are comparatively easy. Just stay cool, put in some air con, and, and you can more or less grow all year round on any bit of soil you can find. Over here, though, freezing temperatures make it harder. The temperature is harsher. And crops do not grow in the ice. And ultimately, you do want challenge. If the game is easy, if you're just building and not experiencing drama, then the game gets, gets kind of stale. Your first couple of playthroughs will, will be fine, but once you've built everything, that's it. The attraction of RimWorld is, again, making difficult decisions. Having your people that you get attached to, have them die. The game should not be, you know, don't be afraid to have the game be mean to your characters. If I get new colonists, where to put their rooms? Well, we've had some casualties. Major break risk, bitter ritter. Uh, lady, she's tired? What's the problem? Feeling terrible? Ate an awful meal? Yeah, it's slop, isn't it? Okay. Uh, wait, did Dinklebean... Hang on a second. What did Dinklebean say there? Uh, yes, yes, and thank you for uh, hosting the session, sir. The uh, the whole fast sessions. I'll be I'll be there this evening, certainly, if it's going on this evening. Hmm. But yes, Dinklebean, uh, as mentioned, uh, has many many a moment clipped and cut and ready for edit in the whole fast bullshittery, as does Kenneth, the guy from Boston. And uh, yes, I imagine you'll see a lot more of them in the future whole fast bullshittery. Ah. When it's made, it's not made. It's not even close to being made. It just exists as as clips that are just sitting on a time. Oh, have I just has my OBS disconnected? It just went red. I might have just DC'd. Can you guys see this? 
No, I think I think it's all right. Sorry, I just it just went red for a moment there on OBS. I thought I'd lost connection. Two major break risks: uh, Vassal and Bitter Ritter. Vassal, the male psychopath. Yeah, he's knackered. Go go rest, Vassal. Oh, good good. So people are are now using the internal corridors instead of the the central bit there. So hopefully we can get them warmed up and properly covered in concrete so that instead of slogging through the snow, they'll be able to, well, move through concrete. A bit of it, a stand down, go get some food. Indeed, the music did stop, the track has ended. Good, Ryoma is now working on art. What, what material are you using? You're using limestone and marble and sandstone, that's fine. Yes, building materials we do not typically use. So Ryoma's pretty good at art, but more importantly, she has a burning passion for it, which means not only does she learn how to do it quickly, uh, but she gains pleasure. So she, her mood, her joy bonus is increased. Um, the room she's doing it in is quite shitty, though. It's a bit cold as well. Can we turn on that heater? Okay. Oh, fuck. I've just noticed the chem fuel generator switched on. Let's turn that off. We don't need to... Um... So for 25 fuel... Oh, that's not too bad, actually. For 25 fuel, a thousand watts of power for what? For at least four days? Maybe more? Five days? That's fairly reasonable, considering we have boomalopes. So the boomalopes are just eating eating poppies, which is making chem fuel, which is generating power. So long as we protect the boomalopes and nothing goes hideously wrong. This seems pretty deep. Is it as complicated as, as, complicated as it appears? Somewhat. Um, there are elements that you will discover as you go relationships between certain items and room types and, and colonists that you will adapt to and change I strongly recommend not watching any tutorials or reading any guides half the fun of RimWorld is figuring figuring out how it works you will lose your first few colonies to disease to fire to raids to um, wild animals and you will learn and you will design your base better next time and each each Tragedy will be a learning experience. The game is well worth it. If you don't have it, I strongly recommend. It's one of the best ones on Steam, in fact. Definitely one of the best games on Steam. Okay, what's Felfire doing? Felfire has woken up to go and get some uh, plasteel to go down to the southern turrets. This place is still covered in, in steel. This needs to be brought in so that it won't serve as cover for enemy bandits. Similar deal here. This is why it's it's been cleared. It's... um. Ah oh, fuck! No, 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 no! Quick, easy life. The, the we we finished building the this power switch, but we, we we left it on by default, so all the turrets are on. So it's draining our power at night. There we go. So all the yeah, the turrets are off. We need to preserve as much power as possible. Uh, no, I've not, Runty. Where did I get the boomlops and alpaca from? Traded for them. Take care, Dinkle. Have a good day. You're hiding in the office trying to sneak into the stream. Yes, have a have a, a speedy day at work. <clears throat> ah, cool. And I can reassign this turret now to that power line there. Um, so, yes, we need the turrets because, as mentioned, we don't have particularly capable fighters. They're okay, but a lot of our true warriors have fallen. Ancario. Thank you, Ancario. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Um, our... Mortar shell reserves are also okay-ish, but could be better. We need components. How much steel do we have? We have a little bit of steel. Right, so we need to smelt. Right, so priorities are smelt the metal, um, get food. Actually, we've got quite a bit of food. Um, let's switch over to simple meals again. So cook simple meals instead of nutrient paste. People would appreciate that, most certainly. Okay. What element of this game do you find hard to manage? Defense, Lenmic. Defense is difficult. Both from internal threats and external. Love the sensitive. Well, Fat Seal, it's, it's. Give them a cut. Give them some slack, dude. The mods, they're trying to maintain some semblance of control on a website that's full of meme spamming, screamy children. So if you're entering the room and screaming, my freedom of speech, you've missed the point. Thank you, Drachma. Thank you. Just talk normally like an adult, dude. Hmm. What's Felfire doing? Uh, Felfire, while you're there, you get that? Oh, 
upload more on YouTube. Yes, I do try JXS. It's difficult. Well, it's not difficult, it's just tedious. Alright. Okay. So the power is so it's four in the morning. Solar power, yeah, so the sun is rising, so the solar power reserves are gonna be climbing. Thank you, Foxtron. Thank you kindly, Foxtron. Hmm. We do have quite a lot of muffalo leather, which can be sold, but I yes, I also ordered up some parkas to be made by some of our crafters if they've got some free time. Uh, which we can sell, I believe. I think Parkers, particularly good Parkers, are quite valuable. Uh, where are they getting? Where are they getting stored? Have we made any Parkers? Lynx skin, just any leather Parker, Muffalo wool. Hmm. Okay. Is Lulu feeling better? T uh, T Bob. Yeah, yeah. I, the swelling's gone down. Uh, I'm taking her to the vet today, and they can have a, a good look over her. They might have to express her anal glands again, which was very uncomfortable, and she didn't like that. She did, yeah, she really hated that. Can these settlers get crushed by doors if the power goes out? And no, no, the doors will stay open if there's an object blocking them. Okay, so get yeah, the power. Hmm. Yeah, we really do need to get. We need to make sure the batteries remain full each evening. And maybe get some more batteries. But steel is a priority. Um, right, so who's smell... Crimson, what are you doing? Eating raw rice? Disgusting. Crimson can handle crafting. Oh, no, wait, not assigned to crafting. Inspiration. Ryoma, the math professor, has been inspired. Any piece of art completed will be three quality levels higher than it otherwise would be. This inspiration will end after eight days or when the piece of art is complete. Which means she's currently working on an unfini unfinished limestone, limestone small sculpture. If we if we had to make a grand one, it would be pretty damn good. So let's have a single grand sculpture, sculptor, sculpture even. Marble. Do we have enough marble to make one? How much would it cost me? Requires 260. Do we have 260 marble? Just ready to go. It's bricks, right? Not. A Give it a go. Um. So just cancel that. Suspend small sculpt uh, sculptors. Sc sculptures. No, we need the materials. Okay, what about... Um, uh, limestone, sandstone. Okay, we just don't have enough material. Um, what about just a large one? Out of pretty much any block type. We don't have the materials at all. Um... It would be quite. It would be quite nice if we could get some. There is some marble up here, um, because we can sell that for a lot of cash. Uh, Mio, go and get some marble, please. Yeah, she's working on the mine down here. Yeah, yeah, we'll try and do that. So, I would like a marble grand sculpture, and then Rioma can work on that, and then make sure that yeah, only. Someone like Ryoma has who has the skill. Fifteen skill. Okay, and then uh who's not busy? Little Miss Hixie making high exploit. Yeah, so get some we need some metal by smelting uh slag. Okay. So yeah. We're okay ish for now. Just gotta watch little Miss Hixie and Mio for the minute, make sure they're okay. Mio is very capable. She's got a sword and needs a shield, though. She needs to pick one up. <clears throat> hmm. Even if I make a small silver one. Indeed, but we don't have the silver. I don't think we have the silver. No, 1,500. No, we don't have the silver. We need more than that, I believe. How does cyanide afford such expensive cars? Um, I do not know if I'm at liberty to properly tell you. But he made some smart investment decisions. That's all I'll say. It's, his, it's up to him if he wishes to reveal more. He was smart with his money. <clears throat> okay. Do, 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 
do, do, do, do, do. Really? That's all we're getting? It's not a secret? He said so on stream? Okay, that's fine. I just, um, you know, just want to be careful. <clears throat> okay, Vassal is making high explosive shells. Can we get some marble blocks? Wait, is it definitely bricks that she makes out of, or just, um, marble? Yeah, blocks, so we need proper blocks. Slate blocks, marble blocks. Give me a bunch. Hang on. <laughs> That's disgusting. Lulu, how could you burp in front of all these people? Uh, any more marble anywhere? There's loads of slate up here. Loads of everything up here. Okay, where's he going? So we've got eight days to make the sculpture, so you know. Okay. Cool. Getting quite a bit of seal. Hmm. Uh, sure thing. Uh, well, we'll see, gaming. Um, I'm trying. Uh, mm. I'm not typically reluctant to install mods, but considering I've lost, I've had two save files corrupted for RimWorlds, I ain't touching mods, you know, as, as quickly anymore. I'm sure it is convenient, but I lost, um, uh, what is it, the leafy crevice, and I lost Tundra Fall for a while, um, and it took me uh, some time to restore it. I, I basically had to import the save file and then it, uh, cut, like, Manually cut the uh, end, uh, close the uh, the the methods that were running, the functions that were running, and then I had to rebuild the entire base in the editor from scratch uh, by comparing, like painting by numbers, um, against the streams, the previous streams. Mods quickly broke RimWorld, so you know. <clears throat> cool. So we're getting some simple meals. So that should improve morale. Animal starvation. Right, yeah, we need to uh, make some kibble. We don't have any meat. Okay, so we need to kill one of the young llama. Alpaca. Okay, juvenile male. Slaughter it, please. Yellow. The animals are your responsibility. Come on. Please kill alpaca number three. It doesn't have a name. Oh, orbit. Holy shit, Tyler. Yeah, I'd love to. To see the Earth from space. Once in a lifetime thing. There we go. Can you drag that to the freezer? Uh, just let let, uh, let uh, Major do it. So we'll get some food for the. Uh... No, no, no! Don't let the oh, damn cat's gonna bite for chunk. Why do I have turrets turned on inside the base? Uh, it's, it's a it's a compromise. Uh, just in case we get attacked by, uh, by what's it? By, uh, what are, what are they called? Like the fucking hive creatures. Hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, Gwendian Knight. Thank you, Gwendian. Major break risk. Uh, Vassal. Yes, totally joy deprived. Stand down. Do we have any drugs you could take? Yeah, make a bit of tea and drink it. Make you feel better. Uh, much older version, Luke. This one is back from last year, last November, I think. Okay, what's little Miss Hixie doing? She's still smelting. She's okay. Current research. Uh, no more research remains. We've gone through it all. Hang on. Where's Major? Good, he's made some kibble. There we go, some kibble for the dogs. Uh, let's just use, we, we can eat veg vegetables, but the, the animals definitely need meat. So we'll use all of that meat to make some kibble. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, five in the afternoon in the game. Cancel that unfinished component. 
Stand down, little Miss Hixie. Okay, who remains? Mio is finishing her mining duties. Bitterita is coming in. Um, do we have any marble blocks? Some slight chunks that need to be... Yeah, I need somebody to do those. Who's waking up for the night shift? Easy Life and Fellfire. Can they handle crafting? Not assigned to crafting. And no. Uh, hmm. Yes, at some point, Josie, I should start building the escape ship. Certainly. How do you queue priorities? Shift, looky. Hold down shift. Okay, yellow and Vassal are bo both have major chances of breaking due to the psychic drone, which is annoying them. Okay, there we go. The hydroponics go off for the night. Power reserves are not that great. Let's turn off that crematorium. Little Miss Hixie, if you could... Uh, Flip that switch, please. Hmm. Okay, Vassal, could you just have a drink of that tea? Ryoma's back on her feet. That's good. Someone gave her some of the tea. Ever stream Solaris? Yes, I did. It was okay, but very, very flawed. Thank you, Nash Lix. Thank you kindly, Nash. Alright, stand down, Vassal. You've done enough. Um, sorry, apologies, uh, the Fat Seal and others. Um, have I played this? Have I played that? What's my opinion on this? What's my opinion on that? Those questions tend to loop forever. Uh, everyone has at least one game they, they want to ask about, and the whole stream just becomes one line answers. Yes, no, good, bad. It just gets a bit tedious. Thank you, Lifelike Soup. Thank you. Hmm. Take care, Hopeless Butter. Have a good one. Yeah, we've not had any traders for a long while. And we're probably do we're overdue an attack soon. Um, let me have a look at people's weapons. Um, Jen. I'm going to give Jen the uh, excellent uh, plasma rifle that belonged to... Uh, energy rifle that belonged to Kaz. You're going to need... So you've got an armoured vest. She's wearing a steel advanced helmet. Do we have any power armour? I think we've got some. But it's low quality. It's pretty crap. It's better than getting shot, though. Um, Jen, you're going to have to wear it. I'm sorry. So if she wears the power armor, what's her tolerance to temperatures? It's currently minus 45 degrees. It's going to get warmer over time, so it's not a huge deal, but we just need to get ready for an attack now. So Jen, put on the power armor. So she drops the vest, puts on the power armor. Minus 46 degrees, it's okay. Right, so Jen's got the power armor on. Yellow's got his machine gun, armor vest, superior. Yeah, it's not too bad. Mio, you're going to need a shield before you go to bed, Mio. Hang on. She's on her way to bed. What happened to the shield that was here? Yeah, go for that one. There's a, there's a shield belt. A shield belt, it's, it's like an energy shield from Star Wars. It absorbs multiple hits and then um, dissipates. What's the point of the game? Fun. Zilas. Hmm. What's this there? Oh, it's a caravan parking spot. Um. Right, who else? Dragon is out for the count. Yeah, as you can see, we do not have many combatants. Crimson can fight, and it's wearing power armor. Hmm. We've got nobody with a minigun. Maybe we should give it to Crimson. Okay. Did I? Sorry? Oh, thank you, Aride. Thank you kindly, Aride. That's very kind. Sorry about that. Right, okay, so the colony winds down and goes to bed. We've got a couple of night owls waking up. Easy Life and Fellfire. Easy Life, the Optimist, is off to do some cleaning, and Fellfire is off to build limestone wait uh, I see what you're trying to do um, cancel that it's not as important however you can deconstruct these deep drills that yeah so there's this steel there that we can use good the psychic drone is ending so people will start feeling a bit better now so decon yeah, deconstruct these and then we can use the materials for more important things such as the uh, wind turbines right Ryoma's still awake. 
No, it's gone going to bed. This is one in the morning. Yeah, we need to get this concrete down so people can move quickly through the various wings of the wings of the base. Oh, a psychic soothe. Every colonist of the female gender which smiles with contentment. Some distant engine of happiness is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For a few days, some people's moods will be quite a bit better. People will be working in the kitchen. Then little Miss Hexie will be like, Hey! How you doing? Vassal's like, Ugh! What do you want? What have I done? Go away! Just, just having a conversation. Thank you, Frank. Thank you kindly, Frank. Cool, um, and we're getting some components as well. That'll be quite useful. What happened to Factorio? Nothing happened to Factorio. We don't, um, well, I don't play the same game all the time. There are many other games to play. Okay. Do, 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 do. <coughs> That's disgusting. How could you burp in front of all these people, Lulu? You okay, honey bunny? Yeah, she's okay. Flopped on the floor behind me. Just putting, putting down some limestone. Do, 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 do. Did I grab the ship chunk? Not yet. Uh, there's quite a few of those. Uh, oh, fell fire. Yeah, let's really get rid of all this. Do, 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 do. As tempting as it would be to turn these into bunkers or other defenses. They're out in the snow. They're going to be hard to get to in time. So instead, we'll have a kill zone. Hmm. Started to feel bad for Lulu. Um, <laughs> did the doctor check her, un her unusual burping? No, 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 no. <clears throat> Just a bum. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Did I finish the Warhammer gameplay? Nope. Just, you know, different games to play. Don't forget the Grand Sculpture. Indeed. Yes, indeed. We do need to do that. We've got a few days to do it. Good reminder, though. Thank you. I don't, maybe we don't have enough marble. Maybe we should just go with slate. Yeah, let's just go with slate. Okay, forget the marble. Yeah, just make, make me slate blocks. Hmm. Animal starvation. What of our huskies? Moderate malnutrition. We have kibble. It's here. You just need to go eat it. We are, yeah, we are running quite low on the kibble though. Hmm. We'll we'll kill the other juvenile juvenile alpaca. We do need meat. If we're going to feed the animals, we need meat. Maybe we can call a trader. Let's try calling a trader. Hang on. Call the Republic of whatever. Thank you, Blue Scene Panda. Thank you, Blue Scene. Yeah, we'll call, we'll call up a bulk goods trader and try to sell them clothes and shit. Am I planning on expanding the base further? Indeed, yes. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Oh, dear, they don't like us. Oh, of course. Shit. Yes, we sacrificed our relationship with them. They saved us from a raid, didn't they? Oh, uh, well, bugger. Does anyone like us? Yeah, we're alone now, aren't we? Shit. Yes, yeah, so we could get a trade caravan, but it would cost us a lot of money. We need to turn that trade beacon. Oh, it is on. It's simply too far away from the... Oh, no, wait. We haven't properly connected it. Hmm. Something to do when... Oh, Jen, just do that before breakfast. Get a bit of steel. Okay. Wait, how many high-explosive shells are you making? Machining table. Three more. That's fine. Yeah, you can make three more. No trade chips? Uh, well, they're random, Messi. 
So, you know, if we get lucky. <sighs> Why did they check her anal glands? She had a an abscess that had swollen up Lenmic, and it was very painful, and she was clearly not enjoying the whole experience. Okay. Uh, hang on a second, just checking something. Uh... Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Easy Life is just doing a bit of cleaning. I want to try other food. Well, no, it was just the once CF mag. The first time she's ever had it. But yes, we got these like a uh, peanut chews or something, which uh, are supposed to help. Hmm. Cool. Some limestone blocks. Yeah, so people are waking up. It's about 38 degrees outside, so we we'll do another. Oh, yeah, we we are do another proper attack soon. We need to get ready. Um, right. So where is so vassals making high explosive? Um, Little Miss Hixie, could you? Yeah, just, just give, give me some slate blocks. We're going to need them. Mm -hmm. Deconstruct that. We don't need it. In fact, the whole wall segment can come down. Apart from that, don't do that. Uh, uh, what? Oh, I didn't cancel it. It's fine. Hmm. Felfi is very hungry. Um. Yeah, stand down. Go get some food. Hi there, Houdini. Hello. Good morning, sir. How do I know an attack is coming? I'm just guessing. It's been a while since the last one. Our defenses are in place and ready-ish. Now is now is kind of the time that a faction would attack us. We just need to make sure that when they do, we can properly respond. Starvation, Felfire. Yeah. Damn it, we're going through kibble so quickly. How many animals do we have? Husky, husky puppies. I don't want to kill the puppies. That would suck. We do have too many animals to handle, though. Oh, no, don't. What choice do I have? Is it bonded? They're not trained. They're just they're just fresh puppies. Okay, but... but shit. Sell, sell to who? We can't sell them. They're just eating all of our food. Hmm. It's a shame that they don't eat crops. Okay. Feed them with simple meals. That's really wasteful. Simple meals will be useful for colonists. Okay. Get a merchant? Can't. Not without sp spending a shit ton of silver that I don't really have. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We don't have a choice. I'm sorry. Um, this is for the sake of the colony. Kill Catton, kill Jensen, and kill Brittany. I'm sorry. Hmm. And also kill the young male alpaca. Hmm. We don't have a choice. It's either that we starve. Thank you, Sir, Sir Felix. Thank you, Sir Felix. Hmm. 
Okay. Thank you, Gava. Thank you very much, Gava. And Berlin. Thank you, Berlin. Ryoma has passed out again. Again, psychite withdrawal. Damn. Right outside the walls and, and everything. Um, bring her in. We need more psychite. Vassal, I need you to make more si uh, yeah, make more tea. <clears throat> What's that? Sorry, kill people and feed them to the dogs. Yeah, I, I realize I'm, I'm killing, I'm killing the puppies and turning them into kibble in order to feed their parents. I'm feeding their parents their own kids, mixed with potatoes. That's pretty. That's pretty fucking grim. What, what, what choice? I don't have a choice. What, cho what choice is there? Explain. There's no choice. Yeah, take meat off of the uh, simple meal roster. We we can eat vegetables. Well, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I can't feed like eight dogs. Hmm. Take meat off the uh, hopper roster so we don't put it in there. Cool. Thank you, uh, Zai Room. Thank you, Zai Room. Thank you. Kill a human. <laughs> no. God no. Humans are more important than flipping puppies. Why get a dog if you can't take care of it? I didn't! The dogs that I've got to start fucking! And we've got no ability to neuter them. Thank you, Whiskey. Thank you. Right then. Ah, cool. The moisture pumps are reaching the edge of their, their completion radius. So get rid of this one and this one. Hmm. Takes about a year to do it, but they're they're draining away the water here, giving me access to the gravel. So once that's gone, another tile. So in in three days, this will expand one tile further, and then I'll be able to build a wall here. You see, and then this is gravel. See, and then I can I can grow shit if I keep it warm. <laughs> okay. In fact, yeah, that's why I put the sun lamp there so I can see where the gravel was. Apparently we just put a growing zone, so we can determine exactly where it is. So it's there, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so it stretches there, so four there, four there. Cool. So yeah, so this area here can serve as a, uh, well, something. We can grow something. Be it food or, uh, can we grow hay grass? Well, we don't really need hay grass. Trees we could certainly get for the for the wood. Pine trees, if we keep it properly fenced off, fenced off, walled off. Hmm. Okay. So yes, uh, to everybody just joining the stream, just doing a bit of RimWorld this this morning before getting on with YouTube editing later. Uh, on, insofar as YouTube editing, I'm not in the middle of a project. I'm just uh, just starting one, just sort of doing the basic cutting of footage from their, uncom well, not uncompressed, but their uncut streams to determine what's here, what highlights can I use. Um, I, I, I don't know, Via, I can't, I mean, what do you want? I can't, it's either, it's either, a small group of the of the animals die, or they all die, or they all starve. Why am I using concrete flooring when it requires valuable steel, uh, as opposed to what red arrow? I don't. My options are limited. As opposed to stone blocks, not many of those about. Well, there are some, but we need them in wall-like construction. Steel is actually not as not as um as scarce as it appears. We have quite a bit of steel. There are large steel veins all over here. And Mio is quite efficient in her mining. So steel we're doing quite well with actually. It's a uh, stone
bricks and stuff. I must not forget the art. Do we have the slate blocks? Uh, hang on. Ryoma, if I... Oh, she's passed out anyway. Someone give her some psychoid tea. Prying panda, can you do that? Who can do that? Tiro can, right? Yeah. Tiro, go give her some tea quickly. Wake her up. We've got about six days or so to make that work, work of art. Do I do I rewatch every stream 100% through and look for useful clips? It depends, Sazam. It, it depends. The answer is sometimes. It depends how well... It depends on the game and how well I've kept the notes for that game. If we're talking about something like CSGO, which is round-based, it's very easy to just put down on a post-it note, round 7, there was something of note. And then just whoop, straight to round 7 in the edit, I've got this very useful overlay the whole time, showing the score at the top of the screen. So it's very easy to scrub through the timeline to find the bit you need. If we're talking about Divinity, no way. You can't keep track of when the moments were. You've got to watch through all of it. Uh, hold fast. Again, no. Well, I had some way with the little tickers at the top, but um, it was quite difficult. Thank you, Liza Todd. Thank you. So it, it depends. Hmm. Yes, it will, Junior. It's going to take me a very long time with Divinity. Fuck. We are. Okay. I made an error, I think, ordering all those simple meals made. We are very low on food. Some potatoes are growing. We can we can harvest them in an emergency. Okay, can can I get this operational? If we were to switch all this on, is will it drain power to the point of oh god? Our builders can get these turbines going. Yes. We've got all the compa yeah, we've got everything we need. We just need to construct them, and then we've got some additional wind turbines. Use a timer like my mobile phone. It's it's not just that. Um, React uh, V11. Uh, 7. Um, sometimes you can't tell in the moment if there's something interesting. For example, if, um, if somebody makes a joke which only works if it's juxtaposed against another comment made earlier, then I can't timestamp the comment made earlier until I know about the second joke. For example, all of the I'm walking here things from Holdfast. Later on, there's a bit where somebody go like, I, I yell out because I, I encounter so many people going, I'm walking here. I yell, why is, why is everybody from Boston? I just, you know, yell out. But that joke doesn't work in isolation. It's not funny in isolation. It only works in relation to the others. <clears throat> so sometimes you do have to watch through it all to pick the bits you need. Or, you know, like like uh, Digby's for the glory of MILF. It only works if I've set up the fact that I I don't want the fucking organisation to be called MILF. And it's not called MILF, it's called the Badgers. Fuck you, Digby. Just saying. But you see what I mean? You, sometimes it's not just, um... You can't just, like, go blip on your phone. Hey, that's a funny moment. Sometimes you don't know. Okay. Cool, so wind turbines are getting operational. We can also build solar generators beneath the wind turbines. They're so low to the ground that they won't interfere. So we've got additional room. So long as we can seal this off with slate. Mm -hmm. There's slate here that we can get to. Right, so what's Felfire doing? Working on limestone. So go over here, pull this slate. Get that other wall finished. And then we can seal the turbines so they'll, they'll at least be safe from an attack. And an attack is probably due. Can't you work, can't you work backwards through the punchline and choose the build-ups you like? Of course, Zavikul, and that's what I do. But unless you're psychic, you can't tell where the bits you need are unless you watch through the whole thing. Why aren't I hiring somebody to do the dirty job for me? Many reasons, Aris. Uh, they're summarised in the FAQ below. But effectively... Um, Editing, particularly comedy, is uh, edited through the lens of an individual sense of humour. You add more people, you add more lenses. Would it work? Yeah, probably. Good chance it won't, though. Good chance that a couple of years from now you'd be like, you know, I, I like the old style of bullshittery, so I don't know what's changed, but something's changed. Because suddenly there'll be, there are four people working on, a, on, a, on an edit instead of one. 
you've got four people's sense of humour instead of one, it would change. Chance it wouldn't. Chance it'd be fine. I'm not willing. To, I'm not going to bet the farm on it. I've seen so many YouTubers and so many comments saying, "I like their earlier stuff. They were funnier before." And it's because they've expanded. They've, they've taken on more people. They've become a team, a company. Yay! And they're just not as funny anymore. Anyway, eh? What do I know? But you know what? I've got. Don't. I don't, it's not broke. I don't think it's broken. Is it broken? Do, do you think it's? I, I don't think it's broken. So what? It takes. You have to wait for a video. Fuck it. You know, deal with it. You, you want to wait for anything good? You got to wait for it. Yeah. You, know, you want anything decent on YouTube? You got to wait for it. Speeding up. So now, 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 now. You're just gonna ruin it, aren't you? You're just gonna throw what works under the bus to appease those with no patience. Right. What's Vassal doing? Uh, Vassal is. Uh, ooh. Bitter Ritter has been inspired. She will walk quickly for the next 24 hours. But right now she is sleeping. She's been inspired in her sleep. She's had a wonderful dream. A dream about walking. Yes. Just look at the King of Random YouTube channel. The main guy isn't even in the videos uh, anymore. And the project went to shit. Oh, really? Oh, I'm not familiar, I'm afraid. Sorry, I don't know why I'm focusing on, on that area. Oh, it's the stone, isn't it? Um, so hang on. Can Ryoma make... Nah... All right, okay, we, we just don't have the materials. It's fine. We don't even have the normal materials. What, what, what materials do we have? Hang on. Uranium, steel, plasteel. What, what do we have lots of? Sil if I ordered you to make a silver one? A small silver sculpture. Tornado. It's not here, right? It's fine. It's over at Morningwood. Ignore that. <laughs> no, nothing to see here, folks. Small sculpture. Silver. Requires about 700 ingredients, right? No? Silver. Requires 70 ingredients. So 700 silver. What's the problem? Needs material. But we got we got the material. We got the silver. Am I being dense? Sorry. Requires 70 silver. 10 times. Uh, isn't silver a small resource which means only 700? Indeed. And we do have 700. It's just over there, isn't it? No? Yeah. Am I being thick? Okay, I think I'm being thick. Silver. Check the radius. Oh, is it a ingredient radius? The materials need to be closer. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Oh wait, what's Crimson doing? Making small sculpture? No, it's not for you. Let somebody with actual talent do it. Tons of YouTubers that churn out to uh, quantity and not quality. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, may maybe I'm wrong. May maybe ultimately in the end, um, it this ship will... S well, obviously the ship's going to sink. Any career that's based on popularity will end um, when that popularity fades. I'm, I'm well aware of this. I've accepted this long ago. I'm just trying to enjoy the ride as it's here, basically. But um, for now, my opinion is it ain't broke. Don't try to fix it. Thank you, chicken tenders. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, good. Right, so they're sowing some crops. How's the power? Uh, falling quickly, in fact. 
Uh, there's something potatoes. Uh, can we pick some rice, gents? Rice is going to be way faster. Okay. The tornado has dissipated. Uh, what I do is probably one of the most time-consuming systems. Oh, God, yeah. Since I both have to record enough content to make a good video and then spend a lot of time filtering out the boring. Oh, yeah, Sazam. And, and, and uh, the fact that I can't write it as well as another thing. Um, lots of people on, on the on the hold fast bullshittery were saying, where's Cyanide? And yeah, the dynamic between me and Cyanide is very funny, but I can't force him to play a game if he doesn't want to play it, you know? So there's another element. I can't, I can only edit the content as it appears. If people just don't want to play a game, then nothing I can do. Um, so there, there, there's that other factor as well. Uh, right, good. She can work on it now. Yeah, and she's and she's doing it. Right, okay. Have I thought of, have I thought of what I'd do when that ship is done? Uh, yeah, I'd probably get into like um, I'd probably do something a bit more traditional with the with the YouTube platform it, or whatever audience platform remains. Um, I'd probably do go into um, so game reviewing. Um, I know that you you guys all know that I'm quite opinionated, but also um, I I'm, I'm I sort of loudly sing from the the the, the rooftops that I'm unbribable. Uh, because I am. I, I find I find it when uh, you know when game reviewers keep getting caught, like accepting advertising, whatever, or access, and or just flat out cash. It just infuriates me. I just just it just makes my blood boil. I just get really angry, probably um, unnecessarily angry about people taking cash under the table. Um, so I can pretty much guarantee you're never going to catch me doing that ever. Um, so that lends itself quite well to game reviewing. I feel if I ever did go into that. Because you'd know that, r agree with it or not, the opinion's mine. Ubisoft could never bribe me, no amount of money. Uh, ah, damn it, fucking Morningwood's getting all the attention. Hmm. Ten million pounds? Oh, if you say so, Scarfy. Oh, so why didn't you mention it, ten million pounds? Oh, God. Wow, think of all the things I could buy with ten million pounds. Ignore everything I just said. Ignore everything, it's fine, yeah, fuck it. Right, we're doing, we're, we're shilling shit now. What are we shilling? What's on my desk? Hang on. Right, so a red biro. Which co what company makes it? Doesn't say. Oh, no, hang on. It says alcoholics are not, uh, ignore that. Um, this next thing, what are we shilling? It's a uh, Glandex shof soft chews for dogs. Uh, anal gland support. Uh, amazing what a, what a little chew can do. Um, active ingredients. Pumpkin seeds. Uh, granulated pumpkin seeds. Uh... So, great, great, fantastic, delicious, mmm, yummy. What else can we shill? What's on this desk? Uh, loads of shit all over this desk. Oh, I need to clean, I need to clean this thing. Mostly just rubbish, really, is on this desk. Like half-eaten, like, chocolate bar wrappers. Fuck you, I, I, did, I'm, I edit shit. I, I, I live by my desk. My desk can be a... a can be a look, look, looks like a bomb's hit it. Right. Okay. So what's going? Yeah. So I just need to pay attention. Um. So Rioma is good. Getting the silver for the small sculpture. Uh. Jen, the tribal, is working the hydroponics. Now we do need to carefully watch the power reserves. They're falling very quickly. I don't think we can run the second hydroponics bay. No. No, we can't run the second hydroponics. Shame. Switch it all off. We just can't run it. Kill the power. Oh, deep drill uh, resources exhausted. Okay. Crap. Yeah, so it's going to be night time soon. It's already four in the afternoon, so we're going to lose solar power. We need to build up the... Uh, battery reserves as best we can. Uh, let's deploy a backup battery for the night. Somebody put that there, please. What's the what's the toughest part of the game? Defense. Spanky. Trying to um, manage defenses. Some people uh, like to like to build um, like a uh, death tunnels. What are the, what are the, you know like um like a, a tunnel of full, full like full of debris. And covered in traps, and the AI kind of march through it and get slaughtered. I don't like it. I, find, I think it's kind of cheap. Thank you, the party wizard. Thank you. As uh, you know, uh, what are they called? De you know what I mean. Um, 
where the all the AI just funnel in single file and get slaughtered. Kill box, that's the one. Kill box. Yeah, I think they're just kind of a bit cheesy. Better to have layered defences and bunkers fall back, fire, blow up traps, fall back, next line of defence, fall back. I mean, obviously, we've we've kind of thrown everything into one basket. Yeah, we've got turrets. Well, I don't know. I mean, if these turrets fell, we'd fall back. If these turrets fell, we'd fight compartment to compartment inside the base. And we have, in the event of like a bug infestation, we fight door to door. Speaking of bug infestation, we really should split up our weapons so that we still got access to them. Like put miniguns somewhere else. Is this um? What's out in the snow? We need like a second, uh, like an armory. How does the top bunker work? Uh, people will move in, take up positions around the sandbags, and start firing. Uh, most of the stuff has been cleared out, so the enemy don't have cover. This will function as cover, so which is why we're building the I incendiary IEDs behind it. Um, hmm. If that gets taken, we fall back. We're going to move back into the courtyard and keep fighting. We need defences inside the courtyard, really. For Nord, thank you for Nord. I can see the Nords. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Yes, the the game. Yeah, in its to its credit, it does throw. Things which will evade the kill boxes, such as sieges and sappers, but all the same, um, I just, just generally find kill boxes a bit. Meh. It just just feels a bit just feels cheesy. Thank you, Kakamon. Uh, sorry, Kakamon Monk. Kakamon Monk. Oh my God! Sorry, Kaki Monk. I don't, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that, dude. Kakamon. Kaki Monk. You need to put a capital letter on the second part of the, on the second word. Aha. Bitterritter is working. Actually, no, 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 no. Work, work on this slate here, Bitterritter. Never mind, never mind the internal doors. What's a sapper? Uh, a sapper is a, uh, a military unit uh, that uh, undermines defences. So, I suppose the, mod the modern equivalent would be a combat engineer. Historically, sappers or sapping referred to the uh, the action of digging a tunnel. Um, so, say you, you've got a city under siege, you would uh, stay way back, like beyond the range of their their archers, and you would start digging a tunnel. Um, soldiers would work um, with the sappers to sort of haul away soil, and uh, they'd be digging a tunnel uh, underneath the wall. And uh, and what you do is then you would uh, intentionally. Um, Sort of like replace the underside of the wall with um, uh, with wooden planks, uh, so that the wall stays up. And then you keep doing that. You keep sort of like sapping out as wide a section of the wall as you can, replacing the foundations with w with wood. And then when the time is right, you would uh, like put a trail of flammable material outside of the tunnel. You would poke holes uh, through the roof of the tunnel so air could get in and then you would set fire to it so that the fire would burn all the like furiously burn all the and you'd use bellows as well to sort of like pump air into the tunnel um, and then it would burn all the way and of course burn away the wood and then suddenly the walls don't have a foundation anymore because you've just burnt it all away and the, the walls would collapse normally forward because you've, you've positioned the, the sapper that way and then boom you, you, you're in you've, you've circumvented the defenses that was the act of sapping it was for this reason that uh, people would build moats uh, so if you have a moat around um, like a castle or a uh, or a city um, sapping was difficult because obviously you did tunneling and you either have to tunnel very deep and the deeper you go when you tunnel it gets kind of tricky because obviously you're dealing with dealing with bedrock um, or uh, your tunnel would flood <laughs> And then, oh fuck, well you got to drain the moat then, and that's a pain. Um, so, you know, it, it, it was sapping historically just referred to the act of digging tunnels in order to undermine defensive fortifications. Particularly stone fortifications. But, sorry, in, in a modern context, sapping refers to, like, being a combat engineer. You know, like, building bridges and... Well, actually, does it? Sorry? I might be talking bullshit. Do people still use the word sapping? Sorry, I think I might be. T I think I'm talking shit. No, wait, no, they do still have sappers, like in, the, like in the army. They're like, the French army has sappers. It's like the sapping, the sapper, you, you know, engineers or whatever. 
Uh, I defer to anybody who has actual military experience. Uh, where did I, uh, from Total War, Rome Total War. The first Rome Total War had sapping. And then from then on, I started reading Wikipedias. Right. Oh, visitors from that colony. They don't like us. Okay, right. So the colony's sleeping. So it's the 5th of, of spring. The temperatures outside are a bit better. Thank you, Sizzles. Thank you kindly, Sizzles. We could very much do... Yeah, we could very much do with a transport ship. That would be nice. How's the silver sculpture? About 280 units of work remaining. Hmm. Sappers do... Yes, uh, demining. Yes, indeed, they do, Gemsis. They do anti-mining uh, anti operations. But yes... What's the silver sculpture for? I was hoping to sell it, Zirion. Uh, so Ryoma has been inspired. So the next uh, thing she works on uh, in terms of art will be uh, significantly better. And um, so I, I, if I can build a, like a work of art, we can sell it and uh, get some silver. More so than we invested into it. So about 700 silver. Should be worth more than that if it's decent. And um, yeesh. Ooh. Okay, why not abandon the other town? That's probably how do, how do you abandon it though? Yeah, we probably should, shouldn't we? We, we we're not going to use it in the same way that we're not we don't use morning wood. Wait, sorry, that's morning wood, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, this, yeah, this is the first one we made, white forest, and then it yeah. So this is morning wood. Should we just abandon it, guys? We're never going to go back. And if we, if we do want to go back, we will just you pick another place that, that has unspoilt resources. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing there. It's, it's just it's just a fucking... There's nothing. There's the dead body of like a coolie, some random person that we didn't know. And like a bit of chem fuel and an Uzi. Yeah, screw it. It was a nice idea. It didn't work out. Right, abandoning Morningwood. Okay, there we go. Okay. Thank you, Sven. Thank you very much, Sven. Yeah, so th that hurt that elk migration. We could have had something here. We could have food now. But we don't. We actually have no food. We oh, we turned it all into kibble. Oh. God damn it, even our Ah You turn all of our, our normal fucking thing Shit. Yellow. Harvest those potatoes. Actually don't do that, because you're old. Send somebody who's not shit. Somebody go and harvest... Ryoma. Ryoma, wake up and harvest the... Potato. What do you mean you'll never do cutting? Oh, shit. Thank you, uh, Mortis Sephurum. Thank you kindly. Oh, they're going to eat dog food. Oh, we've got pemmican. All right. Eat some pemmican. I, I clicked. Oh, I did, didn't I? Bitter Ritter is no longer inspired and will not. Walk, yeah, will no longer walk quickly. Also, what's the time? So I just got to keep track of the time. It's currently quarter to one. Cool. So at one o'clock, I'm going to um, to bugger off and get on with my job. I forgot to make coffee. Okay, I'll get some coffee in a minute. Ba 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 ba. What's pemmican? It's kind of like uh, it's jerky. It's uh, like a dehydrated meat and some other vegetable matter mixed in. It tastes like shit, but it keeps forever. And we've got this little shed which is intentionally frozen to um, keep it fresher for even longer. Uh, quite late in the afternoon, Zabakul. It's alright. It'll be fine. Alright, at least the dogs will be able to eat. Yeah, it, it's survival food. Which we kind of need because we're struggling to survive. Okay, uh, let's also... we got enough herbal meds now. Let's switch over all of this to just food. Just make food now. Uh, apart from... Hang on. Uh. What's happening to all the smoke leaf then if we're growing it? Oh, it's here. 
Are we are we making joints? Making smoke leaf joints. But no one seems to be prioritizing work on it. Or is it the intellectual skill? Make some of those. They'll help with the mood. Hmm. Well, yeah. But at the same time, uh, Bitmark, um, the drugs are actually very useful. Uh, obviously... A, 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 a psychedelic stimulant in a modern society where there's regular food and you kind of need everybody to not be high all the time. It's inconvenient, but right now, when a bit of yayo snorted is the difference between going ape shit with an axe in the middle of the night, it's kind of worth it. People might need a bit of a pick me up after a horrendous. We could have a horrendous battle on the horizon and we could lose friends. Some Sometimes people need a bit of a pick-me-up. <clears throat> Thank you, Astral Walkerer. Thank you very much. Yes, 12 months. Very generous, Astral. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very generous of you. Thank you, Angel of Death. Much appreciated. Yes, Dragoner, you are frozen. You are... You are Ryoma is drinking tea whilst mocking you. Yes, there you are, frozen in, in cryo. Uh, you know why, though, uh, Dragoner, right? You're aware? Hello there, Nico Air, Nico Air in France. How is France? Okay, we're getting a bunch of rice. Good. So we've got some nutrient paste. How is Lulu dealing with the heat? Not well, I'm afraid. Arconic. She's struggling. Where is she, anyway? She's, uh, hang on. Da, 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 da. She's just behind me over there, flopped on the, uh, flopped on the floor. Just zoom in the camera now. Hang on, where's the controls for the camera? There they are. Yeesh. So she's, uh, she's suffering. She's not doing very well. She's just trying to stay cool as best she can. Yeah, she's sleeping right now. Right, uh, sorry, did uh, Dragon respond? Uh, you read the character page. Yes, uh, Dragon, yeah, so you've uh, you got the plague and uh, healing you now. So you, you got the plague and we had no medicine. Healing you will uh, either require a miracle or more likely your death and then reanimation through nanotech. So if we open that up, you will die. There's no stopping that now. That cryo that cryo tube is the only thing that's stopping you from dying, and the only way we can bring you back is to then resurrect you with nanotech. If we do it fast enough, that you're still fresh and still warm, then uh, you'll be all right. And there's only a small chance, very very small chance, that you'll get resurrection psychosis and go insane. Um, but you know, it's it's it, it, it's within reasonable um, risk levels. Uh, but the question, well, we need nanotech if we're going to do that, and we don't have that. So right now, it's either we find it on this world, or we get you off-world and, and get it back at a core world. Did Nico respond? I didn't see. Still, war well, you know what I mean. D d yeah, it's all right then, Tebeard. You know what I mean. Shush. Be quiet, you. Da, 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 da. How far off nanotech? Well, it's like a it's like a rare thing you can sometimes find. Right, good, it's twelve degrees inside that corridor. Yeah, good. Bitter Ritter is almost finished on this outer defensive wall. Is the game created by the same people who've made Prison Architect? Nope. Different people. Uh, what's little Miss Hixie doing? Making joints. That's good. Go get some food though. Stand down. Uh, close off access to the pemmican because we've got some 
nutrient paste now. How many hours have I clocked on RimWorld? A few. I can't tell you exactly because I don't know. Why are they going all the way around there? You can just go through there. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yes, it's my opinion as well, Burkaboo. Prison Architect is definitely a... It's a, it's a different game. It's a, Obviously, it's about prison management. This is about... Um, advent, well, it's about drama. Amongst uh, specific people. It's not about the building shit. It's not about... Setting up logis logistical tra uh, like chains. It's about, um, well, Bitterita flirting with such and such. That person going through surgery. Uh, what was it? Who is the doctor who we think murdered one of our colonists because he was shot down romantically? Who was that? I can't remember. It was the last colony, wasn't it? It was a uh, uh, leafy crevice. Basically, we had a doctor who tried to flirt with like the matriarch, this sort of like... um. Uh, this hot, um, this attractive colony member, and uh, and she had to go through heart surgery, and it had like a really high chance of succeed of succeeding, and yet suddenly it didn't, and she died on the operating table. And um, then I realised early earlier that she shot down that that doctor romantically, and he was a psychopath. And I was like, wait a minute, you broke my heart, I will break yours, or something. Da, 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 da. But yes, we've also had a similarly interesting things happen here in this colony. We had uh, Maximo, the cannibalistic doctor, who, um, thank you, Depanda Man, who had a very antagonistic relationship with Jen. These two got into a fight all the time. Jen was only like 20, like 23 at the time. She was very young, very naive, and um, and uh, those two got into constant fights. And uh, I, I basically considered that Maximo wanted to uh, eat, eat her and wear her skin. And Jen wanted nothing to do with Maximo. So I set up a role-playing condition that whoever died first would have their way with the other. Jen would throw him into the furnace and burn everything he owned. Or, if Jen died, um, Maximo would get a bit peckish. Uh, and um, Maximo died. There was a battle here. In fact, I think this might be the remnants of it. There was a battle here. We were fighting against robots. EMP wore off, they came alive, and one of them put a lance shot right through Maximo's heart. He died instantly. And Jen took his body and didn't give him the satisfaction of a burial. She threw him right in the furnace, including his human skin jacket and human skin hat. We also had a, a doctor, another story. We had a doctor, her name was Ravenwolf. But we called her Dr. Milf because she was very attractive and everyone liked her. We were fighting here against tribals. I think it was here. And uh, we had to sort of move to the next line of defences over here. And um, uh, all of us were split up here. And the moment Dr. Move, uh, Dr. Move, Dr. Milf moved, she took an arrow shot right in the back. And was again was instantly killed. And the colony didn't recover well from that one. Oh, and we also had a uh, Karu. Karu was a, a bounty hunter, an elderly bounty hunter, and she was uh, very, very capable at combat. But she was also a massive junkie, and she would just constantly <clears throat> inject whatever drugs we could find and go off on benders, go off on like a drug, uh, like druggy benders. One evening, when it was late, she was milling about in the snow, <clears throat> and uh, and then suddenly, you know, on one of her her drug binges. And then suddenly a polar bear came out of nowhere. There was a polar bear on the tundra. We didn't spot him. And uh, started ripping Karu apart while she was in her drug haze. Thank you, Agent. Uh, two of our soldiers rushed out quickly, responding responding to the, the screams. But uh, all they found was Karu's body getting eaten. The polar bear, presumably high, having just consumed some of Karu, was uh, gunned down. The body remained there in the snow for a while because we were busy at the time dealing with other things. And then suddenly it went missing. No one knows what happened to it. But Maximo, the cannibalistic doctor, had a nice new t-shirt made out of human skin. And as he wore it, presumably it gave him 
through osmosis, through his skin. Strange psychedelic feelings. Anyway, this is RimWorld. What's going on now? Uh, Mayo is off to... Well, it's nine in the evening. Mayo is off to do some more mining. She likes mining. Uh, good, we've managed to get rid of most of the wall here. Um... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that polar bear. Yeah, that polar bear. Uh, if it, it, it didn't, it didn't escape. But if it did, it would wander off into the snow. Find, fi find that no amount of penguins it, it could eat could satisfy its craving. Before you knew it, it was, it was running like a brothel, <laughs> just, just to, just to feed its, uh, its uh, yayo habit. <clears throat> Right. We'd have to. Have, it's already got tattoos and it's got like gold rings, like a uh, gold teeth, having to beat up the other polar bears or threaten to beat them up with a baseball bat if they don't pay. Where's my money? Where's my money? Hmm. Let's put concrete through all of this, just to speed up, it's just general movement speed throughout the base. Okay, um, what's the time? I uh, just need to keep track of the time. So it's almost one o'clock, so I almost have to go and get on with work today. We are still low on food, but we have beer, so that's nice. How's Ryoma doing with that work of art? Resting? Resting? At a time like this, you've still got some energy, young lady. Well, you're not that, you're 53, you're not that young. You've still got some energy. Get to work. We need, we need that work of art done. Jen's gone to bed. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Der Geist O two one zero. Thank you. Okay. Is it really L uh, LTD XP? Yeah. Oh, the weather's horrible. Ugh. Okay, Easy Life is awake and doing some cleaning. Fellfire is awake. Um, could you please disassemble these two moisture pumps? How long until this pump expands further? 18 hours until the radius expands. Hooray! Thank you, Space Cat. Most kind. Thank you. We still haven't decided what this room should be for. We should have another storeroom for the moment. Move some of the stuff from over here. Yeah. When there's time. Thank you, Hellhawk. Thank you very much. So, how's Ryoma doing? Uh, cool, about 47 units of effort required. Speed up time. Why is it so hot everywhere but where it's supposed to be hot? I'm pretty sure where it's supposed to be hot, it's still quite hot, Benny. But the answer to your question is CO2 in the atmosphere. A lot of it. Cool, Ryoma's almost done. And there we go. Really? Normal? But she was inspired. And she's good at making art. Normal? That's it. A normal small silver sculpture. That's shite. Boo. Rubbish. Come on. Normal? That cost me like 700 silver. What a fucking con. That's bollocks. Fine, put it in the fucking rec room. Rec room, dining room. Easy life, go put it in the fucking... Oh, not assigned to construction. Bellfire is. Working on the auto doors. Ryoma, you suck. I know art is subjective, and to you it's probably amazing, but still. A bad investment. I don't like bad investments. Says Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Who surprisingly in the last season. Acted really. Oh, 
God, I don't know what's going on with him last season. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, does it give some decent benefits? Uh, okay, 112 positive beauty value compared to this uh, good limestone sculpture, which is only 74. That's not too bad, I guess. A very impressive dining room. So those that go inside it will get a buff, uh, saying, A pleasant environment. A plus five buff. This place is nice. Very impressive dining room. For the next six hours. So they get like a nice, a nice little buff there. Right. That's so unlucky. It's like a 15% chance at normal or worse, says Shand. Really? Mm. Great. Okay, so power-wise... Our batteries are full. Good. We should get more batteries, definitely. Uh, how much are they going to cost me? I'm not sure. Just build a, a batch of batteries. 50 steel and two components apiece. Yeah, let's make sure we get the batteries as full as possible. Yes, indeed. I will continue Warhammer with the green skins for sure, Sven. Definitely. Bah, 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 bah. Major break risk. Fell fire. Uh, stand down. Go chill. Maybe I should only turn on like a small number of the hydroponics. Don't need all of them. Try to figure out where the limit is. At what point do we get over the point you know, that we can't handle in terms of power? Would be nice to grow some extra stuff. Okay. Um, right. I do need to. Yeah. I do. I do need to finish up there. Uh, apologies. I know not a great deal happened this stream. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, thank you, Zenlet. Thank you very much. So uh, I'm going to. Um, yeah, leave these guys to their devices. Uh, so we're just working on getting our food reserves back up. And uh, also now our defenses are in play. We need to try and get uh, more power, more hydroponics going. Seal off this section of the base and, and heat it. And uh, try and make as uh, many crops as possible to sell for more silver. Better defenses, better weapons, that sort of thing. Um, you know, if we can buy steel in bulk off, trade good, off traders, that'll be useful. That sort of thing. Just general improvements over time. Um, right. So thanks again. I'll catch you later. Um, hang on. So, um, yes, as for now, uh, I'm going to go and keep working on the YouTube side of things. Uh, hang on, what's the dog doing? It's just behind me. Um, yes, so I'm going to go and uh, keep editing. It's still... So I've just finished that hold fast thing, but truth be told, I finished most of that last week. Um, so it, it was just some polished bits that needed to be done uh, on Monday and Tuesday. And then yesterday, on Wednesday, I was uh, going through back, back to the hard drives... Uh, cutting together like the next thing uh, to see if I had enough uh, footage for a bullshittery for a particular game. Uh, the answer to that question was yes. Uh, and I'm going to tell the patrons and the Twitch subs via email in a moment what that was. And uh, yeah, so I can say, hey, I've got this as well, by the way. Um, but yes, now I need to um, I need to get on with the next project. So back to the hard drives, see what I've got and uh, start the next project, really. Um, you know, to, to get it ready for you within uh, two to three weeks. Um, right, so uh, yes, I, I'll catch you later. Uh, so she has a vet appointment later. Um, so I'll go up and see them to make sure her bum is okay. Um, but yeah, so have a uh, have a good afternoon, everybody. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy uh, your Thursday, wherever you are in the world. Let me just have a quick look and see who's playing what. Yeah. Hang on, uh, Yuki is on playing PUBG. Who else is on doing what? So Alistair is on doing XCOM. Yuki is on. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll hand you over to well, Alistair or Yuki. I'll hand you over to Yuki. Yeah, I haven't, haven't done Yuki in a while. I'll hand you over to Yuki. Right. So, uh, yeah, this is ZF Yuki. He's currently playing a bit of uh, PUBG. Uh, so, yes, have a, uh, have a lovely afternoon. All the best. And uh, this, is, uh, this is ZF Yuki.
Server group revoked. Server group assigned. Channel switched.